functionality of my fingers. I was just outside a little while ago and that is partially the reason why I'm drinking tea right now. Wow. Let's get into this here. Behind me is the big mama jamma. This is a backpack that it's supposed to be a three day backpack. Hang on, let me get German real quick. A three day backpack. Three days. Is this a three day backpack? Yes, it is. I purchased this bag because originally I wanted something that was going to be a great carry to work backpack. If you've seen my Maxpedition backpack, you will understand that I love that backpack. It's a Rift Core. The only downside to the Rift Core is, I believe it's a little bit too narrow. And if that was ever fixed, it'll be a perfect backpack. Before I purchased the Rift Core bag that I use now all the time, I actually purchased this monstrosity of a backpack, which is from 511, 5.11. It's not a horrible backpack, in no means. It is just ginormous compared to the numbers that I was looking at when I originally did my research because they have this monster and they also have, and this is three days, it's a 72 hour bag, so it's three days. They also have a 24 hour bag. And what I noticed was the 24 hour bag and the 72 hour bag were almost identical. At least what well, the numbers I was looking at and the demonstrations that I saw, they were like, close and I noticed I was like I don't see much of a difference I'll just go on the head because oh by the way they don't make a 48 hour backpack there is no 48 hour backpack and because there is no 48 so it's three day or one day nothing in between do not start with me come I gotta turn this off it's like rubber oh man it's got the draw oh Okay, so let's focus. Let's unpack what we just packed. I'm gonna hide this stuff here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to rotate this bad boy. I don't know, if you can see scale, you can see how big this is. I mean, I am not a skinny person. And look at the size of this, this is huge. It's massive by every means of the word. Massive. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, take this out. This is the cloth that I use to lay down a whole bunch of stuff. The great part about this is it is just a standard cloth. Uh, thickness is something you would take to a concert. There's nothing really special about this here. You don't need the dimensions on it, it's just a cloth. Your only option on this particular backpack is to put it in this wedge right here. Now, you'll notice at the very last minute, I said, hey, I think I found a place to put my shoes. So, those were the shoes. Here is the inside flap here. Everything in this backpack is jet black. Although I do like the black body, there is one thing that I like about another manufacturer was they had the interior at a lighter color so that I can clearly identify what was what and find things. I will be using this here to show you what you can't see. There is a mesh on the top right here. It's a nice mesh. We also have a opaque um, zipper pack here. And the mesh is also zippered. There's another piece right here, and this is what, this is the pamphlet that came with it. This is the Rush 72 from 5.11 Tactical Series. Now, 
you notice I use the word tactical. Um, yeah, I use the word tactical. That means you've got your molly right over here. Get this pin real quick. You got your molly over here. So if you got molly, that means you can start attaching all kinds of things on here. I don't want to know what you're going to attach to it. I'm just letting you know that you can attach things to this here. You want to prove or show who you with? You've got the little patch um, Velcro piece right here, the soft part of your Velcro, because you should have the rough part of your Velcro on your symbol or emblem or whatever you're doing. There is also another pocket with some model in front. This is where you saw me, oh, let me just rotate this a little bit. This is where you saw me um, hide the banana. There's an opaque part in here. Again, this is all jet black. And at the same time, there's also a zipper little pocket in here. So I actually had a little bit of room to put both these guys. Um, well, I had a little bit of room to put it in this pouch here or the zippered part or just kind of just throw it in there. This is a great place to put your sunglasses or something like that. One moment. Mm. You may have heard on the video I was starting to get a little congested. Um, it was not going well for me out there. Not at all. So the next compartment is going to be the main compartment. And this is just big guts. That's pretty much all it is. Just a big cavity to put all of your junk. Because remember, if it's 72 hours, we don't know, or they don't know, or you may not know what you're going to be getting, or if you, even if you do know what you're going to be putting in your bag, in my little scenario, I didn't know what I was getting. Um, but you get the opportunity to just throw everything in there. And that's, a lot, that's how a lot of these 72-hour bags that I've seen, or the bigger bags that I've seen, kind of work. It's kind of like luggage. Give you a big hole to put everything that you want in there. Easy as pie. But for a little bit of specialization, there is, and where is my drink? I left my drink back here. Give me one second. There we go. So just so you can see it here, should still be visible. There we go. Should still be visible here. We have another mesh right here. We have another mesh right here. And then we have another pocket that is opaque. So we have one, two, three. Each one of these is zippered. I thought the, the most unique thing was this top one. It has, what? Here we go. It has a zipper on, on the bottom and a zipper on the top. I found that a little bit on the unusual side, but at the same time, I was saying to myself, it's kind of nice to have because maybe you want to have something that you just Maybe it's easier to grab it from the bottom than it is from the top. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of nice. And I can already see this video going for a very long time, so I will be nice and split this into two videos. So the next thing is, these are my dress shoes. Um, this is my, whoo, this is cold. Oh, man. <laughs> whoo, this is, wow. Uh, <laughs> Regular shirt, casual shirt, number one. Um, comic book t-shirt, number two. Number three, it's gonna be dress shirt. This is just a plain old dress shirt. There is nothing special about this here. This is another casual shirt. So, already we have one, two, three, four shirts so far. And this is not from Black Panther. This is from Lion King. So I was able to get five different shirts in here. Did I count right? One, two, three, four, five. Five shirts. And the reason, I'm say, um, the reason I put five shirts in there is because, number one, if you are traveling, doing 72 hour, whatever, whatever, you're going to need a t-shirt to sleep in. If you need a t-shirt, I don't know. Some people don't use t-shirts to sleep in. I... Here's the other thing. You're also gonna need um, a couple of regular shirts because when you do go out to travel, 
and I have used this to go out and travel. Um, I did a three day trip in Poughkeepsie, I believe. And when I did that, I just threw everything in here. I knew I had an iron board where I was going and most of the pants and clothes that I had were easy for me to iron and get out the wrinkles. And that's what this simulation is all about. This simulation is all about if you have the ability to do something like that. You got an iron somewhere. Two different ties. Underwear. There's three pair of underwear over there. Regular belt, fancy belt. Workout shorts. Fancy jeans. Red stripe. Um, fancy pants. And cargo pants. A pair of, a bunch of pair of socks now. I just grabbed a whole bunch of different socks and just threw them, threw them in here. I mean, I don't know how many pair of socks you gotta be using. I swap my socks out every freaking day. So I just grabbed a couple things. And also dress Argyle socks for the fancy pants and all the other stuff. So that is the majority of all the BS that was really stuck into this ginormous cavity. And if you look inside of this cavity here, like I said before, you have one, two, three pockets. Each one of those guys zip over here. I'm throwing this in here so you can just see what's going on. Um, there is a mesh pocket. There is a mesh pocket at the very top over there. So you can kind of see it dangling around. There's an opaque pocket right here. I'm gonna move this around. There's an opaque pocket right here. This opaque pocket does have a little drawstring on it. So what do you want to put in there? Probably a pouch with sensitive materials. Um, I, you know, I don't know what you would consider sensitive. It could be a tablet or like a little small tablet or your cell phone, something that you kind of want to be away from everything else. So now this backpack, one moment. This backpack has side pockets. On the side pockets, you're gonna see what I did. So I'm gonna put water in one. I'm gonna close this here, rotate it. And on the other side, I was able to put a 32 ounce bottle of juice. So we've got juice, we've got water. You saw me with the banana. You see all this equipment over here. The very last thing that I have to show you is there is an extra pocket at the very top. This is where I had the ink pen from the Hilton Garden Inn. My keys. And then there was a conversation. Oh. Ooh. Money! I don't know if you can see that little pink thing right there. Can you see it? Hang on a second. There we go. There are two drainage holes at the very bottom. So if you did have something um, like a hydration kit or whatever, there are two drainage holes at the bottom. There's also a third one on the back. And this is where I start talking about the back just a little bit. I'm gonna flip this over. The back has, I'm farting, I'm farting. The back has some hard, um, it has a hard spot. I'm gonna unzip this real quick. This is kind of awkward. I'm gonna unzip this here. So there is a spine. I can actually feel it right here in a second. You might be able to see it right there with the lighting, but there's a spine that goes right down. This is a hard spine. Now, I think I know why this spine is here. Let me see if I can take a peek at it. Yeah, this is kind of what I thought. Okay. Yeah, it does go all the way down. I'm not telling you this is what you can, you should do, um, but 
this is a nice spine that goes all the way, well, most of the way down, but this pocket goes all the way down the back of it. This would be a good place to put um, third party body armor or some kind of shielding. Um, and you have access so you can take, either take this out or reinforce it one or two. I don't really know the, the one I'm, nobody's ever told me about how to use that. And I have no reason to use that. Um, uh, the next thing is, there is, what the hell is this? So there's two little things up here. I don't know what those are. But I'm not hardcore into hiking and packing and all the other stuff, so I'm gonna have to just let you guys dog me out on that one, because I don't know. I think this is everything. I really think this is everything. Uh, discoveries, we found some change. And of course we found, uh, uh, discoveries on this trip was we found um, 80 cents in the backpack and an ink pen. Now the 80 cents is simply because when I travel, it's usually a vending machine, I usually get, you know, snacky or whatever. And I want, I want to eat something. So I always carry quarters with me. I'm gonna have to reload this here with some more tea. Mm. Oh, this is a this is an awesome cup. Goblet, whatever you want to call it. Oh man. So that is that is the end of this video.